Hey everybody, Chad here. In this video, we're gonna talk about why guided meditations don't work. Okay, we're gonna focus on one thing. We're gonna focus on the main thing that you're doing that guided meditations are not working for you. Most of the time we're using guided meditations for some type of success, some type of abundance, law of attraction. Maybe you're doing law of assumption from Never Goddard. Maybe you're trying to go inside your imagination, live in the end, act as if inside your imagination. You could even be on YouTube going on guided meditations and you just seem like you've been doing it week after week, month after month, maybe for years, and you're not really getting the results that you really want. But the main example uh, I wanna give you is where I'm at right now today. Okay, this is really the main example. For example, let's say we're going through a guided meditation. And in the beginning, the whole point of a guided meditation is to relax you, get you super relaxed, get you in a super relaxed state so you can actually go inside your imagination and maybe use an I am statement. Maybe you're using your imagination, live in the end as Neville Goddard. But let's skip to kind of the middle. You've already relaxed, okay? You're already in a relaxed state. You're already in a sleepy, relaxed state. What's happening and what you're doing wrong is who, whoever is doing the guided meditation for you, you don't want, <laughs> you don't want it. You know what I mean? That's not what you really want. So if that's not what you really want, deep down to your core, it's not gonna come to you. That's why guided meditations don't work on this. What I do when I go through guided meditations is I'll go through a guided meditations to a point where it relaxes me and I get into a super relaxed state at that point I shut it off because what's happening is I'm in Wahin, I'm in Wahin Beach, the beach is behind me. For example, let's say you hate the beach. Let's say you hate water, you're scared to death of water. Let's say what you want has nothing to do with a beach house. You know, let's say what you want has nothing to do with a tropical vacation. You, you know what I mean? But you're going through a guided meditation that's using the beach, using the sand, using the smell of the salt water, using beach houses and resorts inside their guided meditation, your mind just basically checks out because you don't really want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we can give many examples, but since I'm here at the beach, this is the main example I wanna point out to you. If you don't want it, it's not gonna to come to you, and that's why the guided meditations are not working for you because it's something that you don't want. That's something that you don't resonate with. So that's what I found when I started getting into meditations maybe 10 years ago, eight, nine years ago. I caught that really quick when I started using YouTube and I started using um, different uh, audio CDs and different uh, ways to kind of go through a guided meditation what i started finding was is like i i didn't want what they were guiding me through when they started using examples they're using examples in their own life but i don't want it and i started finding that i didn't get no results and how i got results is from actually kind of doing up my own way like a hybrid way Lots of times I'll use guided meditations to really help relax me, to get me into a really deep, relaxed state. And at that point, I turn it off or I set a timer where it auto, it auto turns off. Then I go inside my own imagination in that deep, relaxed state. And I live in the end almost like law of assumption, Neville Goddard. And to me, that worked so much better because I'm actually catering it to what I want. You have to see that's what you got to do you got to cater stuff to you you have to cater stuff to what you want not not what i want <laughs> you know what i mean because you might not want what i want you might not want my lifestyle you know what i mean we all want different things and once we realize we all want different things we can start catering it to ourselves it, it's not that meditations don't work they do work it's not that guided meditations don't work they do work as long as you want what they're guiding you into. If you don't want it, and you don't want the examples they're using, then it's not gonna work for you. So you have to you have to learn to kind of, kind of do a hybrid schedule, a hybrid routine. You have to learn how to twist things in a way that 
you can get results yourself. Like for example, like if I can, if I don't need a meditation to get me super relaxed, then I don't need, I don't need meditation music. I don't need somebody guiding me into a super relaxed state, but that's not all the time. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes my mind is running too much and I go through a guided meditation to a point where I'm super relaxed. And at that point I start going inside my own imagination, my own wants and desires, my own intentions. That's how I get it to work. Uh, anyway, I'm at Wahen Beach. It's a beautiful day out, by the way. There's the, the ocean right here. Uh, it's been high tide. Uh, it stopped high tide maybe like a week and a half ago. So it's just beautiful out right now. Uh, but I wanted to share that with you. Uh, Aang, where's Aang? Aang's like right over here. I don't know if you can see her sitting in the shade. But I'm going to go back, swim in the ocean. The water's actually really, really crazy warm today. I mean, super warm. I mean, you're, you'd be surprised how warm it is. I used to live, I mean, I lived in California, Los Angeles for 20 years. And if you've never been to California, Los Angeles, what most people don't realize is the Pacific Ocean is crazy cold. Uh, just because California is, is, I mean, you go up north, it's Alaska. So Alaska brings down that cold current in the Pacific Ocean. The ocean's pretty cold. You know, if you go to Santa Monica Beach, Venice Beach, Malibu, Malibu Beach, the, the beach life is a little bit too chilly for me. I'll be honest with you. It's kind of cold. Uh, but here is perfect. Like if you if you love the beach life, if you want to kind of be like a beach bum or something like that or get more involved with like surfing and, you know, sky, you know the I think the, the sky sailing, all types of stuff that they do here. Um, it, it's, it gives you a, a new taste of like the, the weather is just perfect. I mean, I never get cold here. So, but anyway, just want to share that with you. Don't want to keep you guys too long and go back here over to Aang and I'll see you in the next video.